Um, so I was finalizing what I would say today last night and I, I realized um, there was a guy uh, a long time ago who wrote a hymn that most, a lot of people will know, uh, but he wrote a poem first and the poem was entitled um, <clears throat> Pray Without Ceasing. Uh, now this man, Joseph Scriven, uh, he wrote quite a few hymns, but this, they, the, this one was never published. And in the end, somebody after his, I believe after his death, published the hymn. And the hymn is, What a friend we have in Jesus, Yay. all our sins and griefs to bear. Yay. What a privilege to carry everything, everything to God in prayer. And throughout my life, um, I needed to remind myself of that because everything, everything. And uh, I, I, when I thought about prayer, and, and, and my encouragement to you is to uh, seek to um, pray throughout all your life, all your days, all your time, um, because it's just so important. Uh, in, the, in the word it says, seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. Mm. And for me that means um, seeking him is about communication being uh, in communication with God and I realize you know everybody comes to Christ through prayer through the sinner's prayer there's no other way yeah, there's no yeah, other way yeah. so why not throughout the day I realized because I work uh, alone uh, in my job I'm often out in the field at a kiosk somewhere in the countryside and I'm left alone for two or three hours and then the customer will come back uh, I'm on my own but I don't feel like I'm on my own yeah. you know, his, his spirit is within me I'm always I don't feel like I travel with nobody. It's, um, so throughout the day, I'm praying throughout the day. And, and I thank God because he gives me wisdom. Yeah. And the thing is, I, I think of myself as a complicated person. I overanalyze, think through stuff. Uh, but I'm humbled because a lot of the time in my work, I'm not sure what to do. So I ask God for wisdom and he'll provide an answer. What do I do to this? What's the best thing to do here? Oh, I just dropped this thing on the floor. I haven't got another one, so I have to pick this one up and find it. Mm. And there it'll be. Ah, oh, okay, thank you, Lord, you provided for me. Yeah. Um, so I think about some examples of people uh, I know or have met. My dad um, is almost 92, and there's a lot of things he can't do anymore. Um, I'm grateful that he is a wonderful man, and um, he prays all day. He prays every day. Uh, he has a big long list because his memory is failing and uh, he will pray for his family and other people every day so he's doing what he can but I realized that all of us are a bit like him in that there are some things we can't do some things we don't have any control over and therefore we have to take them to God yeah. some things that I personally don't like oh so and so is doing this I don't like that but I'm not allowed to control a person. The only person I'm allowed to control is me. Yeah. So I have to pray to God and give him everything that I don't like or everything that I think or everything. Um, so in terms of praying without ceasing, I'm looking for opportunities in my life mm. to pray. Mm. So in the night, sometimes I can't sleep. I'll wake up, I can't get back to sleep. So all the things that are, anything that troubles me, I'll pray. I'll use that time. Mm. Sometimes I'll remember people I used to know I've got a very, very good, clear memory, and I'll pray for people because I thought, hmm, that's a useful way of, you know, I could always be remembering people I used to know, but actually if I pray for them, uh, and some of them I know are not with the Lord or they're not walking with the Lord at the moment, so I'll pray for them. So I'm always looking for this uh, pray without ceasing, always be in that attitude, it's him. And I thought about it, you know, when you're with somebody's with you all the time, it's rude if you just ignore them and spoke to them every other hour or mm -hmm. at the end of the day or just on a Sunday or something. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like, he's always there mm -hmm. if I need something or just, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it's great to be grateful. I'm yeah, always thankful. I love food and coffee um, and I just praise him for all these things simply for that. And as I stand here, I, I have to say, you know, Adam, the leader, other people that have spoken today, amazingly, set the bar high. So I come to you here with um, simple words of encouragement and 
my testimony of my life that God is faithful and he is there and if I need something I'll ask him yeah. um, and the important thing I, 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 I was thinking it, it says ask Jesus said I think he wasn't being unkind when he said this you do not have because you do not ask yeah. so I never want to be in a position where I haven't asked yeah. even if I ask things I shouldn't or too much or something ask yeah. Yeah. and I like the way in, 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 in English ask seek knock mm. spells ask yeah. <laughs> that's the key thing yeah. ask yeah. just ask um, yeah. seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things shall be added but ask yeah. um, so I thank God um, so I wanted to encourage you, you to, 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 to seek to enlarge your view of what you can do in terms of praying as much or as many things as extravagantly, as big as you dare, I'd stand up in faith and say, yeah. Um, yeah. To anybody that's not stood on this side of the microphone, I'm usually on the other side of a desk if I'm anywhere, <laughs> somewhere else behind the scenes, you can. Yeah. Uh, I've. This is the first time I've ever stood here, uh, except for a, a bridegroom's uh, speech. Uh, <laughs> <bride's> speech. <laughs> um, <laughs> So <laughs> I want to encourage anybody who thinks they can't do something if they're asked to do it, you can. So I have no idea how much time we've uh, uh, burnt up out of that. <laughs> I would have loved a nice clock to, to refer to. You know, that would have been kind of helpful. Um, but what else did I want to say in this time? So the iPhone goes somewhere else when you wanted it to be in the right place. And I'll go in two ticks. Yeah, so in Thessalonians, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So... Uh, I think what a great thing of grace it is that God, who made everything, he made something so big and so small that even astronauts or scientists won't see it even ever, mm. is, cares about what concerns us and what's on our heart. Yeah. And he will listen, even small things like, I can't find a parking space in this yeah, car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise God, you just gave me a parking space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As stupid and small as that, to, oh, you know, I'd like my family to be saved. I'd yeah, like yeah, my yeah. friends at work yeah. to listen to the gospel mm -hmm. and to respond. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. There's many things I could say about prayer. Um, my wife and I joined the prayer team a few years ago. And this is not a unashamed plug for the prayer team. Some of you might be called to prayer team, and maybe many will not. Many will not. The journey is different for everybody. Yeah. Um, but um, it, it's 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 something for everybody in the in 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 the day to to you know to go into the closet every day, pray every day, read the word every day, get your because. God wants relationship with us. That's yeah, the yeah. primary reason why I think he wrote the Bible, gave us yeah. the, his word. Yeah. He wants to be in connection with us. So every day, mm. every day, mm. spend a little time with him mm. uh, and persist. Some of the things that God puts on your heart will be not immediate, not next week. It might be months or a year or two or something in the future. But if God's put it in there, it says he grants us the desires of our hearts yeah, for those yeah. who delight in him yeah. so we remember that and some people use this um anacronym i don't know anyway pray until something happens yeah. and you keep going you keep persisting there was a, a parable jesus told about an unrighteous judge who eventually gave in to a widow what she asked yeah. eventually yeah. but even the unjust judge did give justice yeah. and it was pushed and pushed so push push so the prayer point simply I wanted, as I say, I want to encourage you all to consider any opportunity you have for prayer 
uh, any time. Uh, I, I am always reminded of the scripture which says, making the most of the time because the days are evil. Yeah. We know the days are evil, but we can pray yeah. and pray, particularly things we have no control over at all, yeah. Yeah. that trouble us anyway, we can pray, yeah. we should. And the prayer points I wanted to share with you were, um, firstly, how can we expand our tent? This is one of the um, verses that is it comes up periodically. How can we expand our tent in the, in terms of prayer and in terms of dreaming bigger and asking more often and more from God that he would do abundantly more than we can think or imagine because yeah. it's limited often by what we think, ooh, that might be okay, or actually, let's ask for more. Let's ask for more. The, the, this, this second um, prayer point I wanted to uh, put before you is um, who could we invite to the next Alpha, yeah. our future Alpha? Yeah. And finally, in a similar vein, uh, who of our friends, family, um, work colleagues could we ask uh, God uh, to bring to salvation yeah. and for opportunities, even for us to speak to them? Yeah. Yeah. So if we can rejoin our groups, please.